YouTube, Professor Gear here. I'm going to show you how to remove the engine uh, front frame without actually having to remove the engine or the transmission. So I don't know if maybe you had uh, like your vehicle's been in a wreck or something and you just need to replace the, um, the front frame. Uh, I believe they also called it like an engine uh, girdle or, or a cradle. Um, a few other names for it. So anyway, here we are. Uh, as you can see there on this particular uh, vehicle, this is an Alexis, Alexis 300RX. This one has three bolts here, three bolts here, one bolt there, one bolt there. If I were to remove those, the entire assembly will come down with the motor and transmission included. So what we're going to do this time, let me show you real quick. You're going to lift the engine up, support it with a floor jack, or I mean a engine stand. After you supported it, you're gonna get down here to the frame itself, and everywhere you see like a motor mount, you're gonna take apart the, uh, remove the bolts from underneath it. I had a bolt here, a bolt here. Uh, this frame right, this, Part right here instead of unbolting it from the frame I just unbolt it from the steering knuckle okay so that's free same with the sway bar I'm leaving it attached because it was too many bolts here so I just disconnected it from here also the rack and pinion I supported it up here with some zip ties so it's going to free float I unbolted the bolt here right there and on the other side there's only two bolts, and then I unbolted it from here. Then I came to attach the, um, there was a cover right here. Also, this cover I detached. All the cover right here, I detached from the frame. I detached the spark plug wires. There's a motor mount here. There's another mount right here. And we're gonna loosen up this bolt here, this bolt. So basically everything that's attached to this frame, we're gonna take off. So this was attached to it, took that off. Same thing over here, took these three bolts off. There's a motor mount there, some bolts underneath. Oops, sorry about that. Some bolts underneath I took off. So this basically, besides the bolt, the, the few, let's see, one, two, three, six, eight bolts. There's eight bolts holding this thing up right now. And this thing will literally drop, but everything else is gonna stay because I am lifting it up. This. So. Once I remove these eight bolts here, I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like. Let me show you real quick in real time. Take off one of these big bolts here. So I already loosened up this bolt here and this one here. Now I'm taking this main one off and this whole bracket's just gonna come right off. center bolt, the bracket's coming off. So, one down, I got that one off too. That's two down, I just got the two front bolts and that's it, this whole thing should drop. Okay, I just took the last bolt off. And as you can see, this whole thing's about ready to drop. I'm going to get my pry bar out. Let's see if I can make this thing fall. Okay, be careful guys. Don't be under this thing when you do this. Jeez. As you can see, the whole thing is 
literally ready to come off. Just want to check and make sure there's nothing hanging up. Looks like I might have to lift that transmission up though. I'm actually removing the transmission so it's, it's coming out. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this. But it looks like this thing's ready to drop. Trying to hold the camera while I do this, so I'm sorry if it's really shaky. Just check all the little points right here. Everything is binding up. Let's give it a little love. Look at that. Nice and easy. I think it's going to be too fun putting it back in though. Alright, well my camera's not going to let me stay on. Just came over to the other side. <laughs> there it is. The thing is on the ground. You guys got to see us for the first time. This is my first time ever doing something like this, so we were in this together. The whole thing is on the ground. Let's see if we get a side angle of it. I could literally just slide this out now. There's nothing binding up, no wires, or nothing. So this thing is ready to come out. So like like I said, if you get like in a car accident or something, this thing is bent. And uh you wanted to remove that without removing the engine. That's how you do it. Hoist the engine. Bam. Thank you guys. <laughs>